Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is Playdates and Travels, and I do a lot of Disney content, including occasionally Disney unboxings. I love Disney unboxings, and now's my time to do a new one, Magic at Your Door. I've had this box sitting in my apartment for about three weeks or so, and I'm finally ready to film this, so let's get into this. Disney unboxing time, let's go. Okay, so this is actually from the month of August. What month are we in right now? This is August. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my um, my new ears. These are ears from Magically Emily. She's an amazing ear creator as well as YouTuber. So if you guys haven't been following Magically Emily already, she has an ear shop called Confection Ear Shop on Etsy, which she opens occasionally. I finally got these ears. I have to do official boxing for them, but I'm wearing them for the video just because I'm so excited for ha to have them. But this month's box, for last month, August, actually, is a stitch box. So because there is stitch on this box, it's themed every, every month they change the design logo. I actually have my Easter stitch behind me as well. I was like, let's bring out the stitches. But there is stitch on this box, so it's kind of cute. This is actually the bronze box. So I was grandfathered into the bronze, bo the bronze box for Magic at Your Door, which they were um, selling for a time. I'm not sure if that's still currently on the website. The website's always changing, so I don't know what boxes they currently have, but this is the bronze box. So this is the cheaper monthly option that you could get um, that was like $75 or so. Just to give you a sense of why this box is smaller than some of the other Magic at Your Door boxes you might see because this is the um, the lower tier level, so to speak. All right, so I have my scissors. Let's get into it and open it up. Uh, so it does say, play dates and travels, let the magic begin. I do love that they have this customized to your name and when I first started subscribing to this company, I did ask them to put my channel name on there, so that's awesome they did that. And I am seeing a whole bunch of confetti as well as this packing slip. I love that they have the color codes because this is handy. I actually have held on to um, my last two just to see how the color prices changes because you sometimes forget when you're not in the parks, what does purple mean? What does yellow mean? Yellow is $12.99 by the way. Um, and this little color code that Magic at Your Door gives you is really helpful for that. Um, this is basically just saying that they have an August bonus fantasy pin for the gold subscribers. Um, I am not a gold subscriber, so that doesn't apply to me. So we're going to move on next to that. Apparently shipping was delayed. It'll be in their next Magic box. FYI, if you guys hear banging, there is lawnmower outside. My son's playing in front of me. There's going to be all kinds of background noises today. But yeah, so that's it for this. It just has Stitch um, eating... Uh, the castle says 2020 August. So that is the pin itself. Actually, really cute. So I guess he was an August theme. Um, the very first thing I'm seeing up here is a pin set. Um, so this is a box that you can put your preferences in. One thing that I said I'm a fan of is pins, and obviously I'm a fan of the Little Mermaid. Um, but I'm seeing a pin set that I already have, so that's a bummer. I hate when I get things that I already have. But here you go. It is a Flotsam and Jetsam pin set that's sticking out of this bronze colored package. So let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Sometimes there's other goodies, sometimes there's not. It looks like that's just it. So this bronze package today came with this Flotsam and Jetsam pin set originally from the Disney store. I do already have this on my pin board, so that's a bummer, but I guess I will have to put this up for trade. Um, and see if somebody is in the market for this particular pin. But that is item number one from my box, and I am just swimming in the confetti, by the way, guys. Yay! Okay, item number two is something that I have wanted for a while and didn't get because I saw that a couple of boxes were sending this out to people, and I didn't want to pay full price for it. I figured if I was going to get it, I'd rather have it sent to me as part of a subscription that I was in part of, and this had been on the wish list. Um, so I got really excited, and I put it on there, and I was like, please, 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 I am very much in need of the red official Disney ears. So as much as I hate to take these off, I do want to try these on. My new ears from the park, um, they are a little bent, which is so funny. It's like, this is how Disney Park's ears are. Sometimes they just are so bent backwards. But this is the particular pair that I was sent, and I love this color. Oh, it matches my lipstick, kind of. But this is really fun. So this is a pair of ears from the parks. These retail for $30. Um, so while I have gone to the downtown part of Disneyland a couple times and seen these, each time I was like, no. I'm gonna hold out hope that one of my boxes will send me this, and they did! So thank you, Magic at Your Door. And let's try them on. 
Oh, these are cute. And these are actually, um, they could be worn at Christmas time too. You could just dress yourself up as a present. I'll just wear a green outfit and be all Christmas present-y. <laughs> but I like these ears a lot. They're super cute. That being said, I am going to put Emily's ears back on just because I'm loving her, her beignet ears that she's come out with. But these are adorable also. So thank you Magic at Your Door for sending me these red ears. These red sequin ears were on the top of my wish list for many, many months. Okay, let's move on. Um, the third thing that I'm seeing in here, oh my goodness. Let me show you guys something, one second. One thing that I own and that is near and dear to my heart is this really cool sign. This is from a now discontinued official Disney park set that was sold in the 1990s. And my husband actually bid on this on eBay for me and got this. So I'm so thankful this little dust on the top. So sorry guys, there's dust in my house. Um, but yeah, you can see it has Mickey and Minnie and the Walt Disney World gate. And the cool thing about this is it lights up. So you have that effect as well. You can't see it as well um, when it's really bright in the doors, but hopefully it's coming out on camera. But this is a really cool sign that I love, and it says Walt Disney World, which is my official home park since I grew up in Florida. My little son here wants to join our party. <laughs> Want to say hi? Hi. Hi. This is my son for you guys. Don't who know? Don't know that. Mm-hmm. He loves to film. A film. A film. Yes. So. The reason I showed you guys that sign is that I was sent one of these Metal Earth model kits. I have never owned one of these, but I've always actually kind of looked at them with interest. And I was sent a Walt Disney World Where Dreams Come True sign Metal Earth kit. So this is the main entrance sign. And I can go ahead and build this and put it in my background. So that is kind of unique. I haven't seen this one. And I do remember at some point um, Magic at Your Door did have some of these Metal Earth um, kits on their wish list because in addition to sending your preferences, this company also has an area, he's not gonna let me talk unless I hold him, but this company also has an area where you can um, check off certain items and add them to your wish list. And then these are items that the company has in stock. And if they um, are able to put it in your next box, they will do so. So I did put a Metal Earth item in there, but I don't remember it being this, the entrance sign. So this is kind of cool and a nice, unique surprise. I'm looking at the back and it says you have to insert the tab, insert the hole. I'm having to do this in the future and then show you guys. But the retail price of this was $21.99 at some point. Um, and you can see that is what the entrance sign looks like on the back. And there's got a lot of dynamic colors going on. So this is really unique. And I have not seen this, so that is cool. Okay, pretty awesome. I was just shifting items around to make sure that I'm not missing anything in the confetti. I think that is it. I only have one more item. And I saw this item from the get-go, but didn't want to open it till the end. So let's see what I was sent. And I'll show you guys why I hesitated and waited to open this one. It is a red Jim Shore box. This is a tiny red Jim Shore box. This is going to be... Um, one of the smaller figurines. Oh, this box is dusty. <laughs> I just I just got a burst of dust on me. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so I have a Jim Shore figurine, and that is so cool. It does say Disney Showcase. Sorry, I'm trying to cover the side because it has not been covered, and I don't want to know what it is before I open it, but that is a Disney Traditions Jim Shore logo. So you know that this is Jim Shore from UNESCO. Let's see what I was sent. I'm excited. And the winner is, should we take any guesses? I think this is Little Mermaid. Or I'm gonna say Jasmine because I feel like I had put Jasmine on my wish list, but I don't know. So let's find out. Oops, I just cut that strangely. Jasmine! All right, so I was sent a Princess Jasmine figurine and you can see her right here um let's see let's get a better look at her oh she's pretty she's in her green outfit from the first film not the live action but i love this look of her i always wanted to um emulate this when i was younger and i was like i don't think i quite have the stomach for it i mean i was skinny i'm um, very skinny always as a kid but i always kind of felt like i had baby fat pudge in my stomach. I've had it since me, I was little. It's me, never gone away. It won't go away. So this whole look would never me, really work for me. me. 
But she looks great. She's rocking it. So there is Richard Hassman looking stunning. I love how beautiful her hair is. Hi. <laughs> Let's try to do this at the exact same time. But I love how dynamic her hair is. It just looks really, really nice. It's popping. Um, and then Jim Shore, of course, has like all the little like scroll effects on the very bottom base of this figurine. But this is really pretty. There's a Jim Shore official um, little tag. And there we go. So this is really nice. So I will say that I think I did put this on my wish list as well. So that's why I kind of guessed Jasmine. So that's cool that I got her. Um, one thing with Magic at Your Door is that they put the bigger figurines on their wish list as well. But it does say in small print that that's really reserved for the gold members if you have like the bigger box. So I was expecting it to be like a smaller one, which is why I guessed. But yeah, awesome. I love this. And she will add to my collection next to Stitch next to stitch <laughs> okay so let me just double check again yeah I think that is it so those are four items sent to me so I had the metal earth kit I had the ears I had princess jasmine Jim shore and then the last mm. item was the pin set um, from the Disney store so those are my four items sent to me in my bronze box uh, I did really enjoy this I think it's nice that I was able to get two of the items that I requested um, if I'm gonna be honest though I think I'm a little bit lukewarm on the whole wish list feature for the companies that do that because you kind of have an expectation or you know some kind of idea of what you're getting in advance. Maybe that works for some people. And in this case, it did work out pretty well because I got two of the items that I was really hoping for. Um, but there is something to be said about the companies that you don't know what you're gonna be receiving and it's a complete surprise. But I guess that's just depending on your personality. Some people love surprises, some people hate surprises, and they want to know what's in store. So if you're one of those people that really likes to know what is going to be sent to you in your box, this is a great option to just go on the wish list, check off all the things in your price point that you think might work out well in your favor, and then just hope that those are sent in your box. And from the videos that I've seen from other people doing these reviews, it seems like that's often the case that the items that are in their box, they at least get two things from their wish list on a consistent basis, which is nice because that means you kind of get to pre-plan your box. So I'm, I'm kind of saying it's a good and a bad thing at the same time, because I like surprises, but at the same time, I'm also very thrilled that I got the ears that I was looking forward to, and I got a gym shore that I was like, oh, I would love to have that. So at any rate, that's just me. <laughs> that was a very confusing uh, commentary, wasn't it? Hey guys, while I was editing, I realized I forgot to tell you my um, discount code. If you are interested in trying out your first box from Magic at Your Door, I do have a referral link that is listed in the description of this video. I will put it um, right in the front center of the description if you want to go ahead and click on that to order your own box and the code is magic save 10 for 10% off your first box so feel free to use that and my link to get a discount on your first order just if you're interested in trying this out for yourself okay but this is awesome I am slowly building my Jim Shore collection I have very few guys I have very few so it's very nice to have a chance to get that in these boxes as well let me know what your favorite item was um, would you keep the pins trade the pins <laughs> If you guys saw my Little Mermaid collection recently, I did my Little yes. Mermaid pin video. I showed that I had that pin set, so that's why I was like, darn it, it's a traitor. But at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun unboxing my box and finally going to see what's inside. And I hope this is fun content for you as well. If you like more content like this, please consider subscribing. You guys can see more of my face as well as maybe my son sometime, <laughs> since he's like my little sidekick. But at any rate, thanks for watching with me, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye! Thank you.